you probably know about the, the British film director, uh, Peter Brook. Yes, yes. Peter director. And he invited Boshe uh -huh. to collaborate with him in his famous um, Théâtre Bouffe du Nord and also in the Teatro Campesino, which is actually still exists these days. And Brooke discovered that Moshe was able to demystify the elements of, of what creates a really great actor and move them beyond, you know, mysterious or inspiration or very talented or genius. He agreed with Feldenkrais that embodiment is the most concrete foundation of the work of every actor. And really, the Feldenkrais method is an ideal learning resource for performers, but especially for actors, I think. In this work, we really learn to fortify and to expand our self-image and a sense of, I can, I am. And how does that happen? It's a very interesting thing. And I've always been puzzled by this idea of how the self-image, becoming more aware of the self-image, improves our metaphorical self-image. And it's through really listening deeply and getting to know ourselves, every little movement, every little gesture reduced and listened to and differentiated. And it creates a better image on the brain. I mean, it really is neuroplasticity at work. And he said famously, we act in accordance with our self-image. This self-image, which in turn governs our every act, is conditioned in varying degree by three factors, heritage, Edu what we inherit, education and self-education. And this was his big thing is he thought self-education was the most important thing for us because maybe what you got in school did not serve you. Um, so I, I really love that. And he also said, our self-image is a body image which not only determines what we think of ourselves but also what we do and how we do it. <laughs> 